In Minecraft, there has been six mob votes, and each one has led to a problem every single time. Let me explain. In 2017, Mojang released their first ever mob vote to save us from all the other cringe stuff which was happening during that time. Mojang created four new mobs for us to choose from. A mutant squid, a blaze that was too overprotective, whatever this thing was, and the phantom. But they all came with a twist. They all had their own unique abilities, and for some reason, we voted for the worst one ever. The blaze would have been perfect for the old nether fortresses since they hardly had any mobs in them anyway. The squid would have been perfect for the aquatic update that came out just before the 2017 mob vote. And the little thing, that, that was literally just the grindstone. But we decided to vote for the phantom. Now at the time, it sounded pretty cool. Until it actually got added. 2020 was a great year for Minecraft. It just had its second revival, more and more players were being introduced to the game daily, and the mob vote 2020 had just been announced. And we were given three more new mobs to vote from. The Moobloom, which is one of the best designs for a mob we have seen, an Isologer, a new type of villager which would spawn blocks of ice from the sky, and a glowing squid. <sighs> now at the time, things were looking pretty good for the Isologer, until Dream tweeted. Dream told most of his fans to go vote for the glow squid, and they did which caused the glow squid to win and caused so much uproar in the community. Mojang eventually began to change things up, with this time it being a biome vote instead of a mob vote, which was literally just the same as a mob vote, but this time you get to pick between a mob and a biome to be updated. So in the first biome vote, you got to pick between the desert, the savanna and the tiger. The tiger obviously won because it had foxes, and I mean, you can't go wrong with foxes. It wasn't a bad choice at all. After the tiger was added, the only thing that changed was berries were added and the foxes spawn there. The other choices would have given us new blocks and uh, termites for some some reason, I'm not too sure. In 2019, Mojang did the biome vote again, but this time with three new biomes. The swamp, the badlands and the mountains. And understandably, the mountains won. So we waited and waited for two years before they were added. 2021 was our year. This would be the year where all the players would finally agree on one mob with no arguments and create the perfect mob vote. You had the glare, which was just kind of there, the alley, a new unique mob which had some good use, and the copper golem. And oh boy, this is going to get good. Let's see who wins. And the alley won, which wasn't too bad to be honest. Now, let's get forward to the present day. The 2023 mob vote has just been announced. We have the crab, which will give us a new item to build further. An armadillo, which finally introduces dog armor. And the penguin, which makes boats faster. But I mean, you can go wrong with a penguin. But no, this time, the Minecraft community has come together to revolt against Mojang. The videos on TikTok and other platforms demanding to get rid of the mob vote and claiming that it is ruining Minecraft. Which leaves us with the question, are mob votes actually ruining Minecraft? I think that's down to the community to decide whether they ruin Minecraft or not. Some people think they're good, but while others think they're terrible. Leave your thoughts on this in the comments and I'll see you all in the next video.